We woke up to a bit of much needed rain. While it wasn't nearly enough to help with the drought, I think my rain dance may have worked. We've suffered through several heat waves this summer, and this last one was with us for several days. Here's Lincoln demonstrating how we close the exterior shutters to keep out the heat on the south side of the chateau. I've given Lincoln another project to do, um, which he's absolutely thrilled about, <laughs> but it had to be done. There's a giant plain wall over here, and um, it was a bit too boring for me. We've decided to put up moldings, decorative moldings, um, to give the wall a little bit of interest. Going shopping with Lincoln is always interesting. He's very precise. Here he is picking out the wood for the moldings. We were standing there for about 45 minutes so he could select just the best pieces. I decided to put the first piece up. So the, the backing is up here. There were some spots where there were gaps, where it was gapped from the wall. Put a couple of screws to bring it closer. Any small gaps can be filled with caulk. So the next step after this is to start gluing on the decorative molding. So, so then the decorative molding goes. Right. This gets glued on top of onto that. Onto the plain molding that you right. screwed in. So I mean that's what it's going to look like. And this one has a little bit of a bow in it, so I'm going to use these clamps to keep it straight. So you add the glue. Right, I'll do that after. And right here is the high point, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. So, do this. And what does the clamp do? It gets the two aligned with each other. Oh, I see. Because this one is bowed, so it's going like this. Mm -hmm. Not that, that drastic, but it's doing that. So I can... Now, pull this out. Oh, I see. So you glue. leave the clips on, add your glue. All right. I don't think I was paying attention when you explained this whole <laughs> process to me. So, um, now, one problem I had before was The glue wasn't working well, and I think it was because the glue was too thick. If I thin it out with, just wipe it after I've put it on. It's a nice pattern. It's like yeah, your signature. That's, that's right. Oh no, Lincoln was here. And this is quick drying glue. Right, two minutes to, to get tacky. So you have to work quickly. Right, so then I'm gonna do this. Just give it a wipe so it's Flatter. Oh, so you're wasting. <laughs> Not really. It seems to work better when oh, it's thinner. Oh, when you, yeah, I wonder. If, it yeah. adheres better okay. when it's thinner. I had some problems before. Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, don't want it to set before it's ready. I mitered the corners on the backing pieces too, so you can see that I'm just matching up mm -hmm. the miter corner with the other one. So now you have how many more to do? <laughs> well, there's three more here, and then there's four of each kind for yeah. the other two. I think it's going to look great. I really uh, think it'll add to the the dimension of the room. You know, once it's painted, and it'll be very pretty.
Last night, Lincoln managed to complete uh, one of the moldings, and I think it looks fantastic. And he's just got one more to do. Uh, one on the right side, and then another one on the left. And then the wall will be embellished and ready for some paint. Since removing the shutters on the north side of the chateau, we sort of had an aha moment. The chateau looked more elegant, even in its lichen-covered state. Since the north side doesn't get battered by gale force winds in the winter and direct sun in the summer, we've decided to keep the shutters off. And power washing will have to wait until the drought is over. The south side is a different story. As you saw in the intro, the shutters are operational and a necessity in all four seasons here in Brittany. The weather can be unpredictable and at times fierce. Will it look strange? I don't think so. Each side will have its own distinct personality. Lincoln managed to get a lot done this week. He cut down some weeds, he washed some windows. He vacuumed and then puttied some windows. Here he is standing on a wood pile doing I don't know what. And here is the wood pile that still needs stacking before winter. After Lincoln's tasks were completed, I allowed him off the property for a quick break to the sea. Then it was back to work. My life the past few weeks has been devoted to shutters, and I'm a little sick of them. After the shutters were removed and washed, we walked them to the outbuildings so they could be stored. We did this 18 times. Although the intense heat has been hard on us humans, the walled garden seems to be producing well and we've been able to harvest some flowers, fruits, and vegetables. <laughs> 